Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. All right, man. Just got a chance to listen to the new song, track, and video, Murdergram, with LL Cool J and Eminem from LL Cool J's newly released album, The Force, produced entirely by Q-Tip. You know, at the end of the day, you could tell LL Cool J was up for this song. You could tell when somebody is going to do a song featuring another artist, you can tell how motivated he is uh, pertaining or when it comes down to who's going to be featured on the song. And LL Cool J remembered what happened with Eminem and Jay-Z on the song Renegades. And LL left no doubt after you get through listening to this song, who is the best and who rapped the best. Eminem tried to come with the speed rapping stuff, but LL Cool J was just dropping bars after bars going hard in the paint. At the end of the day, LL proved why Eminem looked up to him because Eminem said one of his inspirations was LL Cool J. So at the end of the day, LL Cool J inspired Eminem. You know, the white rapper y'all keep saying it's the greatest that ever did it. Well, you know what? If Eminem is quote unquote the best that, that ever did it, it's because of black hip hop artists. I think even when he was giving, giving uh, acceptance speech, I don't know whether it was the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Out of all the rappers he named, with the exception of the Beastie Boys, from Redman to LL Cool J, Big Daddy Kane, uh, Ice Cube, all those rappers. With the exception of the Beastie Boys, every other rapper was black. So to you white people that love trying to throw Eminem in black people's faces and, you know, 50 Cent cooning it up. And for any other person always hollering about that Eminem is the GOAT. Well, if he is quote unquote the GOAT, which he isn't, it's because of black people in hip hop, an art form that black people created. Remember that white supremacist. Remember that coons. So I just wanted to get that off on the side note. But nevertheless, Eminem, Eminem did his thing. Listen, I'm going to say this again. I never said Eminem couldn't rap. Never said the dude couldn't rap. I never said that he, he wasn't good. But I don't have him in my GOAT category. I don't have him in my GOAT conversation. And that's my right. And ain't nobody going to tell me different. There's nothing you can do about it. You can call me a hater. You can call me a racist. That don't mean a damn thing to me. But I just wanted to put that out there. It's a good song. It really is a good song. Both of them did they think. But LL Cool J showed why he's in the conversation for the best that ever did it. Period. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give the song an 8. So there you have it. Oh, and by the way, I love the video where LL Cool J goes back to the original location where he, you know, you know, took the took the photos for his bad album cover from 1987. Whew, Lord, almost 40 years. But there you have it. It's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.